In this video, I'm going to find the vector with initial point P and terminal point Q. And then I'll go on and find the norm of the vector that I would have found. So we are given uh, those uh, points there, the initial point and the terminal point for question number one there. So what you want to find there is uh, the position vector. So that position vector, I'll call it V, which is uh, the position vector from P to Q. What you know is that uh, when you are given uh, two points P and Q, the position vector from P to Q is obtained by subtracting the components of uh, the initial point from the components of uh, the terminal point. So in this case, we have our terminal point here is a Q. Our initial point is a P. So we subtract the components of uh, P from Q. So when you do that, we would have uh, minus 7 minus minus 1, 4, minus 2, 1, minus 4. I now go on and uh, simplify these components. The first component, the one in red there, minus 7, minus minus 1, it gives us a minus 6, 4, minus 2, gives us a 2, 1, minus 4, it gives us a minus 3. So what we'll be having there is uh, the position vector that we're looking for is minus 6, 2, minus 3. I now move on to the next question, finding the norm of the vector we have just found here. For the norm of a vector, we also call it the length or magnitude. So what we are looking for there is the norm of the vector V that we've just obtained. If we have a vector V, which has components V1, V2, and V3, the norm of V is obtained by squaring the individual components adding them then taking the square root so what we need to do here is we square these individual components add them then take the square root so what we would have there is have the square root of minus six squared plus two squared plus minus three squared so what we would have there is a 36 plus four plus nine which gives us a 49 so we are looking at square root of 49 but we know that the norm of a vector is a non-negative number so when you take the square root there, we just take the non-negative number there. The non-negative result there is the 7. So we have the norm of the vector V is a 7. 